So my entry into gender studies as a field uh, came through my postgraduate degree program. So I did my master's and PhD in gender studies at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. But really, primarily, the reason why I chose gender studies and not to continue with political science was my own sort of engagement with feminist social justice movements on the African continent. So this was an opportunity for me to link the social justice related work that I was already engaged in with a sort of academic theoretical uh, way of, of reflecting on and thinking about social movements and social transformation. So a, a lot of my historical research related work has been rooted in the area of conflict and peace and security studies. So that's sort of the nexus of, of things that I work around, primarily through an interest in gender and sexuality and how that intervenes in debates on nation and state building in post-conflict context, thinking about discourses on violent masculinities, gendered bodies, violence against women, and rape in, in context of sexual violence. All of this through a critical gender studies lens and a, and a critical feminist security lens as well. So at the Center for Gender Studies, we run a range of degree programs. Uh, there's the master's uh, degree in gender studies, which I convene, and this contains a couple of core modules, the core module on gender theory, which is really an opportunity over two terms to expose students to a range of theoretical approaches uh, that are useful for thinking around questions of feminist theory, but also gender studies much more broadly. We have courses on queer politics, feminist and queer diaspora studies, uh, as a whole contribution to our own politics and gender and sexuality as well. But in addition to that, we have a module on dissertation methods, which is an opportunity for us to prepare students around thinking about their final dissertation and research-related products. We have a master's in gender and law and master's in gender and sexuality. Because our program is interdisciplinary in nature, we tend to attract a whole range of students. Students who are coming in with previous backgrounds in gender studies from their undergraduate programs to students who have had no sort of uh, training, uh, you know, academic training in gender studies, but come from social sciences and humanities. Uh, we have also had the odd number of students who are coming in from medical backgrounds, economic backgrounds, and we try as much as possible to recognize that because gender studies in, is interdisciplinary, there is an opportunity for somebody from journalism, for instance, to want to do a gender studies degree in order to improve the ways in which they think about journalistic practice or how they think about writing uh, uh, social change stories, for example. So it's a whole, it's a broad range of students, including folks who have taken um, time off from doing academic work. So mature students as well uh, are part of you know, the broad range of uh, students we attract on our degree programs. So most of the students who graduate with degrees in gender studies would ordinarily more often than not go into the policy world. So people were interested in development policy, thinking about international policy debates with a focus on how gender fits into that. There are people who go back into their own sort of professional background. So perhaps somebody who was already doing journalism, we have had students go back into doing that, but simply with a much more heightened uh, awareness and uh, a, a, an analytical lens uh, of gender in doing that kind of work. People who are already doing sort of anthropological or medical related work go back into those fields. You know, So what we try and do with this degree program is open up new sort of career paths, but also allow those who already have a predetermined career path to do that work better through a, 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 an understanding of how gender operates in the world. I would say that the Gender Studies uh, degree program at SOAS is a very exciting program. At the Center for Gender Studies, we take pride in the fact that we offer students a very mixed way of thinking about an academic program. We are not only interested in exposing you to theoretical work, but we want you to engage with activism, we want you to engage with organizing communities in London and other actors who might be crossing uh, through London as part of our sort of seminar series and broader community engagement. So it's an exciting program that allows you to really experience both London, experience the Global South, and knowledge from these contexts in their diversity. It is an intense program, uh, so you must come prepared for a one year intense sensory experience, but which will ultimately leave you more invigorated and more excited about the world that you're about to 
confront and 